have you been? I hope your week was fine and I know most of us will go for a break or have gone for a break this week and I know that you are doing well at home. So let us pray so that we can start our class today. Father, we thank you for you have been good to us, oh God, you have taken care of us. And even now, my God, that our, our term is half, oh God, have gone by almost a half, oh God. We thank you for protecting us, for guiding us. And Lord, we are praying, dear Father, that even the remaining part of the term you direct us. We thank you, Lord, for every child that is listening, that, Lord, you teach them your word, that you help them to understand for the glory and honor of your name. We thank you. May you come and be with us. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. And everybody say, Amen, Amen, Amen. So, this is Teacher Anne from Combs Chapel Sunday School. And I want to welcome all of you to our Sunday School. Ah, let me give direction. You know, there are so many people I know that they listen us from maybe Kahawes, Roiro, Bypass, yeah, where else? Kiambu, and some other areas. We are located in Roiro. There is a Barabara there called Kamiti Road. And then you'll see a petrol station called Rubies. You stop there. You'll see a big signboard written Combs Church. When you follow where it is pointing, it will take you to Combs Church. And we have a very beautiful Sunday school. And we usually have very amazing time every Sunday from 9 a.m. Amen. And I know that the Lord will bless you even as you join us. So, we have been learning the word of God using the alphabet. And for those that are new, are listening for, to us for the very first time, we started with A. We say the word of God is alive and active. We went to B. We say the word of God is bread of God. Bread, bread of life and breath of God. We went to see. We say that the word of God is used for correction. And the word of God, I want to add another thing, that the word of God changes life. Okay? We went to D. We say the word of God directs and is delighting. We went to E. We say the word of God is everlasting and is eternal. We went to F. We say the word of God is faithful we say the word of god is firm we say the word of god is like fire yeah we went to g we say the word of god is good news we went to h we say the word of god is like hammer and we say the word of god also is like honey uh then we went to i we say the word of god instructs then we went to j we say the word of god is jesus we went to K, we say the word of God is knowledge and gives knowledge. We went to L, we say the word of God is lamp, light and law. Then we went to M, we say the word of God is like milk. Yeah, and you remember that song we did? Yeah, we say the word of God is milk and it's sweeter than honey. You remember that song? Uh, uh, I'll pray it a little bit, maybe the next class. There is a new song that we learned. Yeah. And then we went to N and we say that the word of God is near us. And now we are in letter O, all sound O. Yeah? O for orange. Yeah? And from there, I'm going to give you a word that is not, maybe it's new to us or it's very, um, it's, it's related to what we learned last week, but also is a new word. The first word we're going to run in O, we're going to say the word of God originates from God. Say originate from God. Yeah? It's when you say the word of God originates from God, it means that it comes from God. It, you know, najua watu wanasemanga, hii kitu ni fake, na ini original. Yeah? Because if it's original, it is from the, direct from the manufacturer, from the person who makes it. A manufacturer is someone who make something afresh from nothing when we say that the word of god originates from god it means it comes directly from god it it, it does not go through uh so you know there are people that take some take something and reproduce something similar to it yeah the word of god is not uh it has not been taken from something else and then to ikatengenezo a bible it is the word it is the voice of god itself so we can say it originates from god have you gotten the word originates yeah, it's something that comes directly from the person who is saying it. Like, like now, this is my original voice. It's not someone who is taking my voice and talking to you. Yeah, so when we read the word of God, it is the original voice of word of God. It is the original voice of God. So it originates from 
God. It comes from God directly. And we read, there is a verse that we did when we, had, we, we were doing that the word of God is used for correction. That is the book of uh, 2 Timothy 3.16. And we say that all scripture is breathed out of God and is profitable for teaching, for reproof, for, reproof, for, for correction, and for training in righteousness. So all scripture is breathed, breathed out of God. Yeah, And some version says that all scriptures are God breathed yeah kwa hivyo neno la mungu limetoka wapi kutoka kwa mungu mwenyewe so it originates from god that is where we are getting our first o yeah that's a new word we have learned today it's a long one but i know god have helped you to understand so we can say that the word of god originates from god and that we get it from second timothy 3 16 that all scripture are god breathed and then also in John 1.1, 1, 1, it says that in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. So where did the word come from? It was with God. So it came from God. So it originates with, it originates from God. So that is our first O. The, our second O, we are going to say that the word of God is overall. Yeah. When what wame, wame sema mambo yote, neno la mungu ni fine. You know that song, we usually sing that, uh, who has the final say, yeah? Do you know that song? Oh, there is a girl who really, really likes reading that song in our Sunday school. I will not mention her name. She knows herself. Every time I tell her does with a song, she starts, who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah turns my life around. Jehovah turns my life around. He makes a way where there is no way. Jehovah has the final say. So the final word comes with God. It is overall. Yani it's, it's just when God say it is, it is, it becomes that way. So because his word is above every other word. So we can say the word of God is overall. It, it like uh, unajua ukiambua uhesabu vitu na hesabu nasema hii inajumuisha yote pamoja eh? so the word of God is overall over all the other words it is final okay and that one we get from the book of first Peter 3.22 and it says Jesus has the last word on everything and everyone from angels to armies he's standing right alongside God and what he says goes Jesus has the last word on everything and everyone from angels to armies. He's standing right alongside God and what he says goes. Imagine uh, the word of God, what Jesus say, what God says is overall. It's final. Yeah. Including yani, every authority. Yeah. Every power. Listen to what God says because his word is overall it is final okay jehovah has the final say that so that is our second oh the word we said the first one is the word of god originates from god then number two we say the word of god is overall i want to give you another new word say omnipresent when we are learning about the uh, about when uh, the big class they learned about God, we said that God is omnipresent, meaning that the word the God is everywhere. Also, His word is everywhere. Omnipresent it means that it can be everywhere. The word of God is in Kenya. At the same time, it is in Uganda. It is in it is everywhere. Yeah, it is everywhere because we learned that. God said, uh, God said, we learned from the last week that the word of God is near us. So if it is near us, it's near everyone. Okay. So the word of God is omnipresent. So those are the three things uh, that we have learned about the word of God. Number one, it originates from God. Number two, it is overall. And number three, it is omnipresent. It is everywhere. The word of God is everywhere. But for our class, because of the ritual ones, I want us to take only the first two. It originates from God and the word of God is overall. We can say God has the final say. Yeah, God has the final say. So his word is overall. Yeah. And so our, our, our lesson today is teaching us that 
many people can tell you so many things but you know what god says you are yeah you know that song uh, uh, i am i know who i am i am i am who god says i am yeah what i what he says i am yeah you know there are people that can tell you oh you look bad you are foolish but what the what does the word of god says i am fearfully and wonderfully made so that is final that is overall yeah can you look at yourself and say that i am what god says i am because his word is final yeah i am what god says i am because his word is final his word is overall yeah like maybe there are people can say ah wewe hata huwezi jua wewe huwezi pita hiyo and you know the word of god says what that we are the head and not the tail so when they tell you cannot maybe pass they are lying to you because who has the final say god has the final say and we said because god encourages us not uh, the word of god teaches us on how to work hard when you work hard even if people tell you you will fail know that god does not tell you that you will fail god tells you that you are more than conqueror god tells you you are the head and not the tail and the word of god is final okay yeah and you know for those girls maybe right now maybe you're in class 7 and 8 and your face has started looking funny or those boys and people are telling oh you look ill you look awful no the word of god says that you are wonderfully and fearfully made yeah so and that is final you just be telling them what the word of god says about you yeah and maybe when some maybe they tell you like uh uh you people maybe you are poor or maybe you cannot get this that you remember the word of god tells you that the lord the lord has blessed us with all riches yeah the lord has blessed us he has blessed everything around us even in our village or even we are living in town even if you cannot see it don't allow people maybe to tell you those bad things because the word of god does not say that the word of god says otherwise so it's good to already and we say that we are going to uh, start reading the word of god so that we can know what the word of god says about us and today i want to encourage you that the word of god is overall it is final if people tells you other thing you know that what god says about you is final okay if god because god has promised us that he will make you great god will make us great and that is final if god have said that you give us long life you give us long life and that is final because the word of god is overall and it has not come from somewhere else it originates from god are we together are we going to listen to other things or we're going to listen to what God says? Yeah, I can hear you say that they're that going to listen to what God says because his word is final. The Lord has the final say because his word is overall. So we are going to read to, to, to remind ourselves that the memory verse I want to give you is the same that we have been doing. That is 2 Timothy 3.16. That is our memory verse for the week. I know we have done it in, in three lessons no in two lessons so this is the third one yeah so and i want you to read it and understand it and then you memorize it and we are going to say it on the other sunday so may god bless you it was wonderful having you and i know that god has spoken something to you and i know that the lord will help you to apply what you have learned today so can we pray so that you may end our class father we thank you because you are good and you you have the final say in our lives thank you because your word is overall and my god your word it's not it's not diluted it originates from you it's original oh god what you said oh god is what we are receiving today and we are believing in your word every promise you said about us oh god and even we are we we, we just appreciate the way you said that you love little children so we know that we we know we have a father that who really loves us oh god and my god we pray that father even as young as we are that you're going to help us to apply your word to know that your word is overall it is final and there is no other word that is above your word that even the challenge that we are going through as young children oh god some because they are being cyber bullied oh god some because of maybe in their family they are being molested some maybe in schools oh god some because they don't understand maybe anything in class but father we are praying because the word your word is final oh god those other words that they have been told by their guardians or their parents or their fellow friends 
Oh, they are, oh my God, they are teachers, oh God. We are praying that for these children, it is not going to be so, but it's going to be according to what your word says, oh God. But because your word is over, oh, your word is final. We pray that your word is going to be final in their lives. We are also praying, my God, we know there are those children that are suffering in those countries that are affected by war, oh God. We are praying for children in Afghanistan, oh God, my Father, Lord, in and other countries that we do not know Jehovah, Lord. God. We are praying to your Father and we are agreeing, Jehovah God, that you will help them, O oh God. You will preserve them, Jehovah God. And from them you will raise children, Jehovah God, who will become great men and great women in this world. For the glory and honor of your name, we thank you and we bless your name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we do pray and believe. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for listening. And as we started on Sunday, on Sunday, we, we, we have been singing this song that what a friend we have in Jesus. That uh, And we, we learned that we can take to Jesus all our troubles. And on Sunday, we started praying for those children that are troubled. And maybe uh, it was on our physical class, not online class. And I want to continue to, to encourage every child. You can pray to God and God can hear you. And you can pray for the troubled children around you. And we have been praying for children in Afghanistan. You know that country? Ask mommy or daddy or your guardian what is happening. And you pray for them because I know God hears children. You know, Jesus said, let the children come to me. Because God knows that children also have a place in his kingdom and God can hear your prayer. He is our friend and we can take to him all our troubles. Okay, have a good week. I love you so much and God loves you more. Amen. Till next time. Bye. Calls Chapel Sunday School, bringing joy to the world.